All right, Mr. G here, and this is going to be a video for SolidWorks part 1.5. So um, I'm going to start a new part. I'm going to be drawing mine in inches. If you want to match mine, you can do it in millimeters, though. Also, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to start with a sketch on the top plane, and I'm going to try and create this figure right here, this shape, and extrude it up a value of 10. So um, your first line you always want to attach to this origin if possible so I'm going to make the origin happen in this corner right there so I'm going to go down a little bit like this and as I sketch this out in the beginning I'm just going to ignore all the curves so it basically just makes this shape like that kind of and then I'm going to start setting some dimensions this left one is going to be 50 um, this bottom one I can get from here I believe that's that view yeah that's the right side view so this should be 30 on this bottom and then this top should be however long this is which is 60 oops oh boy forgot okay and then this right here should be 20 as it says there and then all my lines are black, um, meaning it's fully defined. So I'm going to go ahead and you can fill it within the sketch or you can fill it after. I don't think it matters. I'm going to opt to fill it after. So I'm going to exit the sketch and go to control seven and extrude it up a value of 10. Hit the check mark. And then I'm going to use the features fillet tool. The radius on this curve, it says 3x r10. So that must happen here here and probably here so I'm setting my radius to 10 and then I'm just clicking this edge as long as you have full preview checked right there you should see it preview so I'm gonna check there and there and that's those two curves hit the check mark and the bottom base should be done next I'll try and do this shape in the back and then last I'll do this triangle so I'm going to create a sketch on this back face right here once I do that, I'm going to hit control seven. So I'm sketching on that back plane. And let's see, I'm going to just try and sketch it out a little bit. So I'm going to go to line. Actually, I just exited my sketch. So I got to do that again. Sketch, click on that face. Now I'm sketching on that face. Click the line tool, control seven. And I'm just going to start at this point. Actually, yeah, I'm going to start at that point and go up. Bring this over. I'm just making sure I'm drawing my line straight that that yellow horizontal line comes up even though I'm drawing it at an angle. This will come down, over, up a bit, but not too far. Line it up with that origin or the end of your part, then go down to your origin and then just make sure you draw a line right there closing it. So I'm just going to orbit around just so you can see what I've done. I've created a sketch on that back face right there and my plan is to extrude it forward towards me so but first before I do that I need to add the measurements so smart dimension let's see this here should be 50 this here it's gonna be filleted um, but it's 10 this here looking not seeing that anywhere well here to here is 10 so but that's 10 from this point, so I'm actually going to add a dimension from here to the bottom that says 20. And then the length of this line is 30, so I'm going to click that, make sure that's 30. And this comes up a value, well it's 20 from the, from here, yeah, so this should be 10, I believe which it was pretty close to, so that's 10. Everything is black, meaning if I start clicking and dragging it, none of it moves because it's all locked by these dimensions. And then I'm gonna fill it this afterwards, this little corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and just exit sketch, features, extrude it, and this comes forward 10. So just hit the check mark. I went the wrong direction. So let me edit this feature and hit the little arrow key right there. You want to make sure you go in to the object that you've already created to hit the check. All right. And then while I'm here, while I'm in the features thing, I'm going to go to fill it. It's already set to 10. So I'm just going to click that corner and it should fill it that edge like that. So that's that part. All I have left is a triangle. So I want to do a new sketch 
on this back face here, this little L, so I'm clicking that. Now I'm sketching on that face, hit control seven to get back here. And it's just a triangle that goes from here to here to here. And since I'm snapping on endpoints, I don't have to add any dimensions because it's already black. Features, extrude, make sure I'm extruding toward myself. So I click the arrow to go this way, make sure it's 10, check. And I believe, oh, is there a, is there a cut there? What is this thing here for? Um, oh, that's just marking this. So that's it.